Hey everybody, this is Sean Holman with the Four Wheeler Network and today we are at our Dyer office in the 10 Tech Center and behind me you can see this uh, cool metal uh, pallet or box and it doesn't look like much here but it, it, this morning this box was full of parts to make, check this out, a brand new street legal off-roadable trailer by Smittybilt and he comes in that pallet and he can basically build it in about three or four hours so with me today is Brendan and Eric from Smittybilt. How you doing? Buddy? You guys uh, want to talk to us and uh, show us some of the cool features of the new trailer? Well, let's start in the front. Uh, very first thing we got up here is a two inch receiver hitch. So while the trailer comes with a standard ball coupler, this allows you to use uh, the articulating style hitches or pinto hooks, whatever your choice is. Sure. It gives you many possibilities here. Uh, what's not pictured right here, we have a long travel tongue jack. It's got 15 inches of travel. Um, pivoting wheel on there also. Uh, it comes standard with the parking brake. Most trailers you see nowadays don't have a parking brake. So there's a mechanical parking brake here right on the tongue? Yep. And cable straight back, back to the drums? Cables back to the drums. Very cool. Uh, speaking of brakes, they are electric brakes. So a seven pin? Seven pin connector. Um, so most vehicles like the JK, they even have a factory Mopar kit that you can purchase. Sure. Um, right here, what you don't see also is the emergency breakaway system for the electric brakes. So an event that the trailer does come completely detached from the vehicle. The brakes will be powered immediately. And um, so in most states, you have to have that. So we're like, hey, let's just throw it in there too and make sure it's legal in all 50 states here. Very cool. And obviously, you guys have a nice big deck on top of the A-frame. Uh, what you don't see right now and what we'll, we're in the uh, process of installing is over here, you can see the toolbox. And the toolbox sits on the tongue. And then you actually have a space right behind the toolbox to fit a full-size spare, right? Yep, up to uh, 37, 12 and a half. You can fit up to 37 on here. And the yep. trailer itself, um, we'll talk about pricing later, but the the uh, top tier comes with three Pro Comp wheels and tires? Yeah, three Pro Comp AT Sports. Uh, they're a 285, 70, 17s. Okay. Uh, they're on 17-inch uh, uh, Pro Comp steel wheels. So very durable. Obviously, you can drag it over rocks and things like that. and and it'll be fine. Um, so why don't we talk about the trailer suspension as long as we're talking about dragging it behind our Jeeps. Well, uh, it features a dual trailing arm suspension. Then. It's got uh, coil springs, bump stops, limit straps, and dual shocks. Um, you know, this is uh, one of these things where I'm like, okay, you know, you get all these trailers that have leaf springs. And you, yeah. What happens to my drinks in the back? <laughs> you start driving down washboard roads, everything blows up. I'm like, okay, I want something that smooth ride. And I'm like, I want the trailer to tow and handle better than my tow vehicle. And which in this case, we got approximately seven inches of suspension travel on here. So you can see that it's a two, two shocks, coil sprung. You guys have a jounce in here. Um, you got a limiting strap to make sure that it doesn't overextend. And on the ground here also, you can see the, uh, the fender flares. So like we talked about a few minutes ago, this will fit up to a 37 inch tire. And that's what the fender's in the lowest position. You can always raise the fenders if you want to fit your 40s or bigger. Okay. Um, one of the other main features of the suspension is we feature adjustable alignment camps. So you could dial in the suspension or the alignment perfectly. Very and what I always tell people is, hey, you know, if you hook this up to your Jeep or other tow vehicle, tow it down to one of the big rig alignment shops, and they could align all six wheels. Nice. So you get a perfect riding yeah. setup right there. Um, the one thing that, if you notice, the hub to the front receiver sure. is approximately 103 inches off the top of my head, okay. which I tried to match the wheelbase of the trailer to the pivot mm -hmm. to the wheelbase of a four-door JK. Very nice. So that's the you know good medium. Yeah. You want if those both match, you get the best handling. Now, how how long is the trailer overall? I want to say 11 feet off the top of my head. And, and, and uh, it weighs about 1,700, 1,800 pounds, um, depending on the configuration. 1306. Okay. Um, and payload on that? Payload, there's a just over a 1700 pound payload. Awesome. Speed. Awesome. And it looks like uh, obviously we've got uh, nice uh, weather pack connectors for all the electrical. And you can see on, on the fender and on the lights, you guys are using LED markers and brake lamps on it for ultimate durability off road and, and one less thing somebody who's taking the trailer on the trail needs to worry about. Yep, less amp draw. Cool. Want to uh, show us some of the uh, compartments that we have here? Um, well, our first compartment right over here is our uh, wonderful generator compartment. Um, this was designed to fit our 
Smittybilt ETS generator. Features a locking latch and uh, sliders. And this will extend completely out. Very cool. We got over 100 pound capacity. What's cool is underneath here, there's a little latch. You pop the latch loose, and you got adjustable legs that pop down to help support if you're running the trail. And like you said, you can actually buy the Smitty Bill generator that you guys also offer in your parts catalog, along with a lot of other parts for camping and things that you guys have that will all fit or design to integrate seamlessly into this trailer. Another nice thing we should point out here is uh, all the doors have uh, gaskets. So for uh, weather and dust resistance. Yep, it's per pretty much airtight in this thing. Very cool. Um, so that's our first cabin. Uh, if you want to follow around to the other side, uh, it's what I would call the uh, kitchen cabinet. And of course, uh, for all of our people who are viewing this live right now, if you have any questions, feel free to, uh, to ask them. We'll try and get you answers before the end of our Facebook Live. So if you notice, all the doors, they feature locking T handles on here. So they are adjustable, so you could adjust the pressure of the seals. Um, stainless steel hinges on all the doors with the rubber bump stop. This is what I call the kitchen cabinet. You got a nice little mat. You got a locking stove drawer, as I call it. And this also extends out, has the drop down legs, so it fully extends here. Perfect spot for your stove. And we include a nice little sink basin. So when you're done cooking, you have a little wash area. Very cool. But each of the, the side doors are 100 pound capacity on these things. And when you do get your trailer, all your keys are going to be in here. So you have a six, total of six locks. They're all key to like. So your tongue box, and every single lock is going to be the same. Very cool, very cool. One of the questions we had is uh, where are the parts being made? Are they overseas or are they local? They are overseas. Made? I want to show them the, uh, the, the last compartment, which is your biggest compartment. This is uh, our main compartment. Uh, features dual sliding doors. Uh, what's nice is they feature a locking slider. So that way, if you're a little bit downhill, you pull this out. You don't want it sliding back in while you're trying to lift stuff sure. up. So it locks into place. You hit the button, it slides in. And then it also locks into the trailer as well. You can see so, right here. A nice feature. Yeah. So. They also stay locked in the closed position until you hit that lever also. Okay. Um, so you guys can see if we pull this, hit this lever. And the drawer has a lot of tension on it. I mean, you can really feel, it feels like a really quality slide. Um, it's, uh, it doesn't feel loose or rattly or anything like that. It's, uh, it's got a really nice slide to it. Yeah, and these are featured, the both rear sliders feature 200 pound max payload capacity on these. Um, we did one recessed drawer, so you can just throw your stuff in sure. here. And then one flat drawer, so you can basically use this side as the table. Yeah. They fully extend all the way out, and you just set up right around here. You've got a nice little eating area, stuff like that. Uh, same quality seal on the rear door, dual locking T-handles. Uh, what you see on top of the trailer, though, this is actually an adjustable tent mounting system or yeah, so rack can, system. Uh, so this will extend up. Go. From the lowest setting is about two inches. It will go all the way up to have a 12 inch gap in between here. And does, is the top of this rated to carry some cargo as well? If you were to have the tent higher? Well, the top, this whole, the, the rack system I know is 800 pounds. Okay. I don't have a rating on the actual okay. roof. I figured most people are gonna be bolting stuff to this. Sure. So if you don't put a tent on here, you can get one of the, like, the Defender rack baskets right. and you can drill some holes into here. What you do also see is these are open. Yeah. And basically there's a threaded knob that goes into the side and adjustable awning mount. So oh, you can put in one of the Smitty Bill awnings and the awning mount will adjust up and out. And then when you're traveling, it tucks in nice and low with your tent. Very cool. Feature eye bolts on the sides and the top and also on the front. Um, the eye bolts actually are also on the inside of the trailer too as well. So you have multiple tie down points to put stuff. Um, another feature is this little accent panel. Everyone's like, oh, it looks cool, it looks cool. Well, it's got three bolts on the inside. I want to run some gas cans, some jerry can mounts. Bolt them right up on here, put this back on. You're not drilling into the trailer body. Very cool. So you could add whatever accessories to the side of here. I figured most people, I'm going to, me personally, I'm going to two jerry cans on this side for gas, two on the other side for water. 
I have everything I need to go camping with. And just so people can see, we talked about it being able to fit up to 37 inch tire, but these are the tires that it comes with. So it's a, a Pro Comp AT Sport, is that correct? Yes, sir. A, on the uh, Pro Comp steel wheel. So very durable, a nice AT tire uh, will get you uh, down the trail without any, without any problems whatsoever. And what, what you don't see here also is uh, underneath these, each corner, I have an adjustable rack bracket that comes out and it has dual stabilizer mounts for the rear so you can level off your trailer in any type of terrain. Cool, I know that uh, we've got some parts that are still on the ground over here uh, for the racking system. If uh, we can walk us through some of those things. First thing we got right here, this is the part of the awning mount. This is the part that drops inside the, uh, the tube on the tent mount. And this is the part that this will bolt to the awning. And this telescope's uh, in and out of there. And a stainless steel pin locks in here. So this is optional if you run an awning. Mm -hmm. I don't see who wouldn't want to run an awning. Sure. Um, these are actually the stabilizer jack mounts. So these can go into the trailer, hang down for when you want to use them. When you're not using them, they feature dual bolt patterns here. They fold up, your trailer jack goes right here, and it's up out of the way. It gives you a nice departure angle off the back end. Um, we got dual rear stabilizer jacks with a nice large foot pad too, so perfect for people you parked on maybe a less than ideal camping spot in terms of uh, how flat the pad is, you can adjust it down, level out your trailer, and it'll hold your weight if you're up in the, up in the tent and on top of the rack. Yeah, and uh, the front jack is a, is a, bit, a little bit longer travel. Um, we designed them to have 15 inches of travel. So if you have a 31 inch tire or if you have a 37 inch tire, it's gonna be able to level off the trailer and actually lift it up above your uh, ball mount or whatever. And so that's a uh, that's a side mount uh, tongue jack, right? Yes. So it'll swivel up out of the way. It'll swivel up or just take it off. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about it, you know, getting caught up and and you know bending like a lot of the A-frame mounted through jacks are. Yeah. And so everything's easily replaceable here. Everything's just bolts on. Um, these other little brackets are actually part of the fender pieces. These go on the inside of the trailer. Gives you a little bit more support of these fenders. Well, we don't recommend you standing on them, but <laughs> I have. And uh, yeah, these these are ABS good. plastic, by the way. These are metal, and it looks like powder coated. Powder coated steel, and then the inside is actually uh, the rubberized coating. Rubberized bed liner. Yep. So you can see that you know, in terms of you know, fending off any rocks or things like that that might ding the trailer cause a rusting issue or anything like that, you guys have that covered because you've got the rubberized coating here. Durable powder coat finish on the top, again, LED lights. And, uh, you know, strong, strong pieces of metal rather than just plastic, flimsy plastic. And while we're speaking about finishes, sure. the actual whole trailer is galvanized coating underneath the powder coat. Awesome. So if you do get a scratch in it, you got an extra layer of protection. Uh, we actually include a, a touch-up paint Every time I go off-roading, I'm going to get a scratch. And then this is the, uh, the cargo box right here? Yep, this is our locking tongue box. Um, it has a hydraulic strut on it. It features the same lock as the rest of the trailer around yep. here. Also has the same weather uh, seal that you have on the other doors. And looks like you guys have a felt bottom to keep things from, uh, from bouncing around and, and hold them in there. Yep. Uh, perfect spot for like dual battery setups. Put in dual batteries, run a plug out the side, you know. There's so much stuff with this trailer kit you could build off of. You know, it's, it's like you buy one thing and you just keep building. Yeah, it's so modular. Um, last thing here, this is our spare tire mount. It is uh, tubular aluminum on this thing, cut down on the weight. Yeah, you can feel how light it is. The nice thing about this is it bolts down to the existing holes there on the trailer. But you actually use a tie-down system to hold the tire in place rather than a lug system. Yeah. Um, uses dual tie-down straps, which are included with it. Uh, they're two inch wide. And uh, so one goes over the top, one goes around the circumference of the tire. So it's really adjustable for whatever size tire you're going to run. Um, I try to make this a little bit wide. You know, not everyone's 1250 tire. Sure. Here's exactly 1250. So give you plenty of room for some of the wider tires in there. 
And so we talked about some of the accessories from Smitty Built that, that work with us. The generator was one. What are some of the other things that you guys offer that can bolt to the trailer? Well, since we got the tent mounts, we had to have a Smitty Built tent. We actually offer two different size tents, a two person, and what I like to say is a four to five person, which is our XL tent. And uh, we feature special clamps that, that are included with the um, trailer kit to mount any of the tents. We got the awning mounts for our two different size awnings. We got an eight and a half foot awning and a six and a half foot awning. Um, we got our wonderful Smitty Belt Arctic fridge freezer, um, which fits in the recessed drawer in the back. And that runs off of 12 volt or 110 volt power. And goes down to a negative uh, 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. So, so this, again, we, we got this trailer this morning. It's about three hours later. Total installation could take somebody as little as four hours or so to go from start to finish if they have, you know, the right tools and, and a little bit of mechanical skill. Well, yeah. I mean, the best thing is all the hardware is labeled out in each bag. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to work on the brakes. Oh, this is the hardware bag for the brakes. So you just grab that bag, bolt it on. Everything's pre-sorted basically for you. Uh, very few wrenches. I think there's a total of six different size sockets that you would possibly need for this thing. Um, it's all metric hardware, so good metric set. Uh, the biggest thing that I would say is uh, a 21 and a 24 millimeter, which are sort of out of the norm. Those are some one of those tool sizes you want to purchase that aren't included in most standard toolkits. Um, other than that, it's uh, a couple pretty, of Allen wrenches. And you're good. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Four hours is very conservative. I mean, if you get two guys in here working together and uh, pre-read the instructions, everything step by step, you can probably get it done in three hours at least. So we've got uh, Don Barnes is asking, how big and heavy is the package as shipped? So what's the weight when it comes to your door? Um, when it comes to your door with the crate, uh, I want to say it's approximately 1,800 pounds. Um, okay. What's nice is the crate features caster wheels on the bottom. So uh, not everyone has a pallet jack, so you could uh, simply roll it into the garage if it was dropped off in front of your house by the, uh, by the, freight, by the freight company, right? Yep. Um, the size, uh, <clears throat> off the top of my head, I would say it, if you were getting a trailer, you'd want the trailer at least, I want to say the crate's like 57 by 71. Yeah, we, we looked at the crate earlier, and if you have a two-car garage, you could easily pull out one car and the crate on casters could slide right into the, the one side of the garage and you'd have enough room for it in there to at least stow it until you, you know, worked on it. And honestly, when looking at, you know, the, the crate, looking at the trailer's finished product, you could clear out your two-car garage for an, for an afternoon, build it, and it would be plenty of space for, uh, for somebody to, to uh, construct the trailer Definitely. at home. Yeah. And so this doesn't require rocket science, doesn't require being... Uh, you know, uh, going to a shop or anything. This is truly something that you know somebody could tackle on an afternoon and have a really awesome off-road trail trailer when you're done. Yep, definitely. What's the ground clearance and payload? Uh, payload capacity is uh, 1,763 pounds off the top of my head, if I remember correctly. It's just over 1,700 pounds. Um, the ground clearance is going to vary depending on what size tires you run. Um, with our Pro Comp tires included in the kit price. Um, I want to say you have approximately 12 inches of clearance from the lowest point on the suspension. Everybody wants to know how much it costs and where where is it on sale. Yeah, when when is the on sale date? When's it available? They are uh, available to order currently. Um, like I said, we offer it as a package with tires and wheels, and I want to say that it's going to retail for approximately six thousand um, dollars. Any Smitty Built retailer should be able to get one of these things on order for you. There's a guy in Brazil that wants one. Do you ship internationally? Um, contact your, <laughs> well, man, Brendan. <laughs> contact us and we can probably get you uh, set up with uh, someone that we know that distributes them yep. and can get something transferred down there. John Trans is saying right now that he doesn't see it on the website. I know you guys said that it'll be up shortly. Yep. Um, and so John, make sure you, uh, you check back soon. Uh, there'll be a, a plenty of information. Probably. Within the week, and uh, again, you can order those today. Pricing is uh, what, what does it start at without the wheels and tires? The basic package, right around five thousand dollars. So five thousand dollars, and with wheels and tires, it's fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah, right. and that comes with the uh, approximately thirty ones on Procom seventeen, right? And yep. you're getting, you're actually getting with the fifty nine ninety nine package, 
three wheels and tires, not just two. So you also have a match spare. What thing that we went over? S somebody asked earlier about the the lug pattern on the wheels. That's what I would love to say. They are five on five lug pattern. Okay. I figured most JK. people are going to be running the JK, yeah. or yeah. you can adapt them too. So sure. that way, if most Jeep owners five on five. Yeah, they, you might not need to have the spare you're on You're probably going to have the same, the yeah, you probably have the same size tire on your Jeep that you're going to have on the trailer. And so if for some reason you do go through spares, you can always use your Jeep spare. Again, this is the JK bolt pattern, the five on five, not the five on four and a half. But with a wheel spacer adapter, you could easily change that to whatever bolt pattern that you, uh, that you need to use for your setup if you don't have a Jeep. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, once again, this is Sean Holman with the Four Wheeler Network, and uh, we're here today putting together the all new Smitty Built Scout Trailer Kit, which is available from your Smitty Built retailer. And we'll have a bunch of information online uh, within a week. So anybody who's interested, you can actually order today. And uh, when do these ship out, guys? We're shipping now. Awesome. Yep. So if you want to uh, no longer worry about cargo space in your Jeep and you need a little bit more on the trailer, or you want over, to go overlanding and you know, have a place for your, your kitchen and your awning and your tent, this is a great option. So thanks again for following, and we appreciate everybody who shared the uh, video. We'll talk to you soon.